Game sequels getting cancelled is nothing new, but sometimes you can trace an entire franchise's demise to a single and tangible decision. This feels really bad when it happens to sequels that are hotly anticipated. It's a bitter reminder that no game is safe, no matter how big it might seem. With that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 9 decisions that killed video game sequels everybody wanted. 9. Dead Space 4 Dead Space 1 and 2 are great, but Dead Space 3 was largely considered the worst game in the series, being accused of taking the franchise off in a more action-heavy direction. This, alongside an apparent lack of interest from the EA higher-ups, doomed what promised to be a very ambitious fourth entry. According to the creative director, Dead Space 4 was intended to be more of a non-linear experience and feature some pretty startling revelations about who or what the necromorphs really are. Not only that, but series protagonist Isaac Clarke was scheduled to sit this one out, and Ellie Langford was envisioned as the main hero of DS4. All things considered, it would have been a real shakeup to the beloved franchise. 8. Conker's Other Bad Day Conker's Bad Fur Day is a universally adored, subversive send-up of the entire entertainment industry. It was a game that cultivated a rabid and devoted fanbase that has been waiting for Conker's second adventure for nearly 20 years. Known as Conker's Other Bad Day, the sequel was to be directed by creator Chris Seaver and see Conker begin his tumultuous reign as the king. This new adventure would see Conker have to escape from prison after spending all the treasury money on booze and parties. A full story was written, along with a few pieces of art and 3D renders. Tragically, Conker's next adventure would be derailed when Rare was purchased by Microsoft in 2002. The new owners of Rare's cavalcade of IPs made it clear that they had no interest in a Conker sequel, thus the foul-mouthed little squirrel was put on ice for the next two decades. 7. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 3 Sometimes a sequel is cancelled for reasons that require little to no explanation. Money. Unfortunately, this is what derailed the development of Knights of the Old Republic 3. KOTOR 3 was scheduled to enter development sometime in 2005, but publisher LucasArts ran into some financial trouble. A need for quick cash is likely the reason that LucasArts pushed developer Obsidian to release KOTOR 2 earlier than they had wanted to, further pushing the publisher into a financial nosedive as KOTOR 2 sold considerably less than the first title. As a result of shifting priorities within LucasArts, KOTOR 3 was abandoned and the conclusion to the story that was started all those years ago remains in flux. 6. Star Wars Battlefront 3 the first Battlefront game launched for the sixth generation of home consoles and PC in 2004, becoming one of the most critically acclaimed games of its generation. Meanwhile, Battlefront 2 launched one year later and eclipsed the first title in every way possible. For Battlefront 3, however, LucasArts called on developers Free Radical Design to bring the third entry to life. Development on Battlefront 3 continued as planned, with a former employee of the now defunct Free Radical claiming that the game was 99% complete and literally only needed a few more weeks of bug testing. Then in 2008, LucasArts cancelled Battlefront 3. It was a game that no one even knew existed until footage was unearthed in 2016, while others noted that assets and story material from the axed title was repurposed into a PSP game called Star Wars Battlefront's Elite Squadron. 5. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Patriots Rainbow Six Siege has become a staple of esports since it first launched in 2015, but in order for it to truly become the game it was meant to be, another one had to die. That game was Rainbow Six Patriots, a single-player shooter set in New York City that saw Team Rainbow in conflict with a domestic terrorist group known as the True Patriots. The intention with Patriots was fascinating, as it sought to cast domestic terrorists as the villains. This was going to be combined with a campaign where it would be seen from multiple different perspectives, through the eyes of both Team Rainbow and various civilians caught in the middle. Despite a strong, favourable reaction to Patriots, the game was doomed by the arrival of the 8th generation of game consoles. Patriots began development on the PS3 and Xbox 360, but the debut of the PS4 and Xbox One shifted the game to new hardware. During this time, the team at Ubisoft decided that, in the change to the new machines, it would be better to just start fresh. 4. Silent Hills When Silent Hills was first revealed via PT, an interactive demo released on the PlayStation Store, it was a sign of great things to come. 
However, rumors began to circulate on the internet that Kojima would leave Konami after development of Metal Gear Solid 5, which left the future of Silent Hills up in the air. Ultimately, it all came crashing down for Silent Hills, a game that held so much promise was cast aside with Kojima leaving. Recent reports indicate that Silent Hills may return, but these may just be desperate fan hope, as they are ultimately unsubstantiated. 3. Prey 2 When Prey first launched back in 2006, developers Human Head Studios really managed to create something quite special. The only thing that seemed better was the prospective sequel. Human Head Studios was not just aiming to create a sequel to a popular first-person shooter, they were going big, showcasing a sprawling, futuristic city in which their new tale would take place. However, as Prey 2 continued development under Human Head, rumors of Bethesda being unhappy with the game began to surface. Even worse, reports of something akin to a hostile takeover of Human Head by Bethesda also started to make the rounds. In 2014, Bethesda announced that Prey 2 was cancelled. Prey did resurface in a 2017 reboot that was well received, but the sequel that promised the life of a bounty hunter on a hostile alien planet would never see the light of day. 2. Mega Man Legends 3 These days, Mega Man is a franchise that appears to be on the rise once more. Mega Man 11 was launched in 2018 and was met with a positive reception from longtime fans. That wasn't the case, however, when the franchise went silent for eight years. The Legends branch of Mega Man differed from the mainline games in that it featured more of a robust, story-heavy experience and was played from a third-person perspective. Legends 1 is a cult classic, and 2 featured a cliffhanger ending, with Mega Man and friends stranded on Elysium. The promise of Mega Man Legends 3 to resolve this cliffhanger was broken when, in 2010, the longtime series producer Keiji Inafune departed Capcom. Inafune's Mega Man inspired Kickstarter projects, the much maligned Mighty No. 9, failed to capture the magic that made the series so special. It did prompt Capcom to deliver Mega Man 11, but Legends 3 remains just that a legend that might remain untold forever. 1. Sleeping Dogs 2 the first Sleeping Dogs game went through a tumultuous release, but ended up being something very special. Though its sales weren't mind-blowing, Square saw a lot of potential in the IP and put United Front to work on a sequel. Intended to be one of the most ambitious open-world games the industry had ever seen, Sleeping Dogs 2 took place in a real-life megacity known as the Pearl River Delta. However, this ambition led to a lengthy development, and to United Front leaving their magnum opus on the table, opting to put their budget into Triad Wars, an MMO developed for PC that entered a beta phase in 2015, but left the Sleeping Dogs fanbase feeling rather numb. With no traction on the MMO side, United Front announced an abrupt closure, and with it went any hopes of Sleeping Dogs 2. And there you have it folks, 9 decisions that killed video game sequels everybody wanted. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at uslidogu. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.